Hello, I am Dr. Rakesh Kumar Prasad. I am an endocrinologist. Endocrinology pertains to a specialty which deals with all the hormonal disorders. The commonest hormonal disorder we encounter is diabetes. Have you ever thought what is the number of diabetes we have in our country? It's around 50 million and it is expected to grow by 80 million by 2010. And why should we be more concerned about this disease? Because we in Asians, it affects 10 years earlier, which implies that we are going to suffer with this disease 10 years more. Not only that, we are going to experience the complications 10 years earlier and we are going to live with those complications 10 years more. So it becomes all the more relevant to know this disease and also importantly how can we handle this mammoth problem in coming periods. You will be surprised to know that this disease is so simple to treat. All you need to do is observe a healthy lifestyle. Since the genesis of this disease starts from a bad lifestyle which says that very less exercise or a very unhealthy diet. If these two factors are controlled well, we can probably overcome the factor which is implicated by genes in causation of diabetes. And uh, treating diabetes is a lot much easier nowadays because of newer drugs which have come in our uh, management of diabetes. The good part of these newer drugs is the complications are less, the sugar control is better and importantly the weight gain which is often a common thing occurring in all diabetics with treatment is the minimum with the newer drugs. The second commonest endocrine problem which is very frequently seen is thyroid disorders. They are primarily of two types. The commonest is hypothyroidism which implies that the thyroid is functioning less and the commonest symptoms it presents with is lethargy, weakness, weight gain, dryness of hairs and skin, frequent fall of hairs, menstrual disorders to name a few. However, the important thing is if diagnosed early on and treated adequately, the symptoms of thyroid subside over a period of time and they can be living a very healthy and normal life. Secondly, many a times when thyroid functions much more than what is required, that condition is called as hyperthyroidism and it is very important to treat and diagnose this problem early on for two reasons. It is known to cause heart problems over a period of time if not treated well and adequately or if not diagnosed in time. Secondly, it can cause bone disorders if not treated well and adequately in time. I am little concerned when I talk of endocrine problems, especially in the younger generation. Very frequently I come across young girls complaining of facial hairs, menstrual problems and obesity. Invariably they are suffering from a condition called as polycystic ovarian disease, which implies that the male hormone in their body is in excess and it causes appearance of hairs on the face and all over the body. It is very important to treat these patients because uh, the married life uh, is affected if not treated well and there are other certain things which is going to occur over a period of time such as diabetes, hypertension and other related problems. The good part of these 
problems, endocrine problems which are encountered in the younger generation is all it is required by this younger generation is to observe a very healthy lifestyle, to reduce weight, not only reduce it, to maintain that reduced weight over a period of time, to avoid such complications of polycystic ovarian disease, facial hairs, obesity, hypertension and future. And very frequently when I see on the other side our older people, I am little concerned about their bone health. Bone is also a important organ of, of our body and is one of the important endocrine problems which is encountered in the elderly age group. The commonest problem is either osteomalacia wherein the vitamin D is deficient or their bones are deficient of calcium, oblique they develop over a period of time a condition called as osteoporosis. The importance of these two conditions is so that if treated well in time, the chances of having a fracture later in their life reduces dramatically. <laughs>